one could hope he would go on break just as soon as the golden week would happen, but no, he follows protocol. After having a somewhat break with the golden week, One Piece will once again go on a break next week. That's not surprising, considering he only releases 4-3 chapters and then he goes on break. So yeah, well, from a long way to another, am I right or am I right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that wasn't funny. Back on the topic, what I'm talking about here is the One Piece chapter 825. Apparently, we get some insight about the Vinsmoke family, so to speak. Apparently, they have been at war with the Marines, or maybe not war, war is a strong word to say, but it seems that a long time... There exists a certain story. We all know that the world government is corrupt and we all know they do anything for publicity. And apparently a bout with the German 66 is one of them. Apparently there's some kind of a story called Sora Warrior of the Sea. Which is uh, in a way I guess it's similar to uh, Liar Norlando. It's a uh, Something like Sora who can walk on the water of ocean along with Transformer Robot and his pet seagull fight the evil armies of Jerma 66, the tale of seafaring heroes. Apparently it's popular world over, and yet this is the first time we have heard of it. Also we see some more Imbolic. I don't know if this is Big Mom's crew, but it seems to be. It's a weird one. There were some people who were saying that the Big Mum pirate crew will have a Wizard of Oz theme, and now it seems... Wait, not Wizard of Oz, Alice in the Wonderland. Yeah, 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 that was it. A Alice in Wonderland theme. And given how these uh, guards look, I'm also beginning to agree with them. Seems to have a the uh, Alice in Wonderland theme. And apparently Rero, or uh, Nero, whatever his name was, is a big fan of Jerma 6 And also, this story is one of them that uh, is apparently a fictional somewhat story on how for kids to admire Marines more. He describes it as something like uh, as an attempt to brainwash little kids to idolize the Marines since uh, they fight the evil army of 66, it's typical for the kids to vote for the German, I mean, Marines. But uh, for Nero, for the gunslinger, he, on the other hand, only stuck with the German. And he seems to, uh, well, trying to be buddy-buddy with Sanji because he considers it an honor to be in presence of a windsmoke, the guys who command the German 66. However, despite the fact that, uh, well, Sanji still was lovestruck by Pudding's uh, photo, he still admits on not getting married and he only tells him to piss off. And here comes a strange thing. Well, not, not only the fact... Uh, oh, and yeah, another, another thing. That's also strange. Another note on the Alice in Wonderland theme is apparently the doors... Not, not only the ship has a singing voice even the even doors have that i mean yeah i mean seriously what is this ship is it some kind of advanced mad mad what's i gonna say magic some kind of advanced technology or has this whole ship eaten a devil fruit nah that is impossible well it's not impossible for in in objects to eat devil fruits but still how can they create that as a Creatures that seems to sing and everything because Sanji knocks on the door, to, oh, demands it to open, and it opens with a door. Oh yeah, and Caesar is also stuck in Sanji's room, but he is in chains. As uh, Sanji keep on just telling Vito to piss off, a member of the fire tank apparently wants to blow Sanji's head off, which is pretty strange. I thought the fire tank pirates did not have a strong camaraderie with each other. Guess we're gonna see a little bit more about that now. This one is called uh, Fire Tank Killer Gotti, and he's apparently a cyborg of some sort. His uh, right arm or whatever is some kind of uh, gunslinger. And he doesn't like the fact that Sanji badmouths Vito. Yeah, Vito was the Noronoro guy's name. 
so uh, but uh, then suddenly he uh, gets pulled back Gotti gets pulled back by a very familiar face almost too familiar but it can't be her it looks exactly like her but it can't be her I mean the bust is not as thick but yeah it's apparently she looks just like Lola and uh, to speak you truth that can't be Lola right I mean Lola is halfway across the world in the Grand Line there's no way she would have gotten back to New World last time we saw her she was in Water 7 but then again does this also a hint of that very famous theory. You know, ever since we what we have seen of Lola, there was a theory that her mama is Big Mom. But people began to deny that, uh, me included, when we actually saw Big Mom. She's not loving and she's not caring. But now I'm actually beginning to wonder, is Lola really related to Big Mom after all? Because if this is not Lola, then it's without any doubt her sister. And if it's her sister, then that means she is also a Charlotte. Just doesn't know which, which kind. It still doesn't answer the theory, if now Lola was Big Mom's daughter, why did she leave? Moreover, why does she think that he, she will help the Straw Hats? There are some loose things here, but well, we'll see about that. Apparently this... Uh, girl is married to Gotti uh, or maybe something else and Sanji doesn't recognize this Lol the Lola copycat elsewhere the straw hats pirates of course dying at first until they uh, and hunger until they capture a uh, fish that uh, Luthi of course eats raw and for some strange reason gets food poisoning I'm saying food poison strange because well Luthi is supposed to be poison immunity but apparently this fish poison is so strong that the only reason Luffy got food poisoning is because he has his immunity. And what I'm trying to say is, if he did not have his immense poison immunity, he would have died. So this poison was so strong, all he got was food poisoning. That's where they tried to cook it. But then suddenly they enter the Big Mom's territory. And uh, Peckham seems to be fully healed now. Elsewhere, it seems that uh, under the under Big Mom's ship is territorial sea slugs. This seems to work very similar to to Den Den Mushis. They send signals. Peckhams will try to get them uh, to be seen. Unfortunately, someone uh, it's a ship of the GC6, and the thing is. It seems to be a giant Denden Mushi, because the thing is, uh, it has some snail eyes over there. I'm beginning to think it's a giant Denden Mushi. And the one who looks down on them is someone who has just the same curly eyebrows as Sanji. In fact, it looks so much like Sanji. But it's not Sanji. Is this his brother? Because I don't think that his father. No, he looks way too young to be his father. So he must be his brother. Well, I guess there goes the theory that Killer is related to Sanji too. So all the Vinsmokes have a curly eyebrow, huh? And I guess blonde hair? In fact, that one looks so much like Sanji, one would actually believe it is. In fact, Rabbit and, Ka and Nami are shocked when they see that person. I think they believe that is Sanji. But who is it? Is it Ichiji or is it Niji? I'm saying that because Sanji means third son in a way. So shouldn't the other two brothers be named the Ichiji or Niji? Who knows? I mean, I wouldn't say it was the best One Piece chapter coming back, but it did get some shed of that thing. See, although Sanji was love struck with Pudding's face, he still seems adamant of never getting married. Moreover, that Lola copycat girl, if that's not Lola herself, then that indeed means that the theory that she's related to Big Mom seems stronger than ever. But, uh, yeah. How are the Strahds gonna win this?
Luffy is food poisoned, so I have a feeling he's not gonna fight anytime soon. Give me your thoughts if you have any.